Hey guys, what's up? Today I wanted to talk about my favorite accessories for my Fujifilm X100V. Let's get into it. The first accessory I wanted to talk about is my Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter. I personally use a Black Pro Mist filter in one quarter strength because I really like the way that it diffuses the highlights and lowers the contrast of the overall image. Here's some examples of my favorite photos that I've taken using this filter. The next accessory I want to talk about is my lens hood for the X100V. I have on a square hood from square hood. <laughs> what? I have on a lens hood from square hood. And I believe that this is the model V made specifically for the X100V. However, I'm pretty sure that their other square hoods do also fit on the X100V. So there are variations of the square hood. I kind of like the way that this one looks because it doesn't cover up the entire lens quite like the other ones do. This lens hood's been really helpful for me when I go outside shooting in the daytime, especially because I shoot with a black promis filter on all the time. I was getting all kinds of crazy flares just from sunlight coming in at different directions. And it was just getting really difficult, but I, I love my Promis filter and I wanted to keep it on. And so I decided to invest in a lens hood for the camera and neither accessory has come off the camera ever since. Another nice thing about the square hood is that it comes with a little lens cap. I wish this lens cap was a little less annoying to put on because you kind of got to slide it on and off. I mean, it makes sense, but I wish it was more of like a cap rather than a slide on thing. So the next accessory I wanna talk about is this thumb grip here. Here. <laughs> so I got this thumb grip off of Amazon and it's made by a company called JJC. It works really great. It definitely helps you get a better grip on your camera when you're out shooting and it just makes it a much more comfortable experience. One thing to note though is I have small hands, so this doesn't bother me, but I can imagine that people with larger hands, larger thumbs might have a difficult time once putting on this thumb grip, accessing this little wheel back here. But I do know that there is a thumb grip made by a different company that has like a folding mechanism that allows you to have easier access to your buttons and stuff on your camera. So just keep that in mind if you're taking a look at thumb grips for yourself. The next accessory I wanna talk about is the screen protector. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I highly recommend everyone get one because replacing a screen protector is way cheaper than replacing a screen. So get one. <laughs> and last but not least, I wanna talk about my camera strap. So I wanted a thin leather strap for my camera and I managed to find one on Etsy from a company called Fieldwork Co. You could choose between three different colors. You can also choose between if you want a fixed length or if you want an adjustable strap. Usually if I'm out walking around, I'll have the camera kind of on my side like this and it comes down to about my hip. So it's like a perfect length for me to take it out, shoot, put it back, keep walking. And it's perfect. I love it. So for reference, I got this in the brown color and I believe on the shortest length for the fixed length straps. I do think that in the future I will be purchasing their leather bumpers that they offer because I, I kind of see that the metal has been rubbing against the camera body and I don't want that. <laughs> it's also really nice that they offer personalization, so I got my initials stamped onto it as well, which I think is just a cute little touch. But yeah, that's it for my favorite X100V accessories. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. I try my best to put out a new Fuji or camera photography related video every single week. And if you shoot Fuji yourself, I'm kind of curious, what kind of accessories do you use? I always trying to look around to see what else is out there and to see if I can improve my own shooting experience as well. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.